Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to an extra special episode of Made in Taiwan. Yes, hello everybody, my name is Alan and on this channel I enjoy making videos sharing some of the interesting aspects of my life here in Taiwan. But more specifically, in this Made in Taiwan series, I enjoy sharing some of the products that are produced out of this wonderfully industrious country. So, you may be asking yourself, why am I walking along this pretty nasty litter-covered beach? Well, if I told you that some of this litter on the beach will soon be made into a pair of these, it might start to make sense. Okay, yes, so I've been joined by long-term friend Justin Lambie from Subs and I'm gonna leave it all up to Justin to explain exactly what we're doing. What's going on? Thanks, Alan. Yeah, right. welcome. So what we're doing here is we're at, we're at a beach in uh, Taiwan, Lugang. Uh, we're doing a bit of a beach cleanup. Um, my company, Subs, our company, we, uh, we sponsor beach cleanups, not just in Taiwan, but all over the world. And the reason for this is because we're making our products, uh, flip-flops, out of uh, recycled plastics. And, you know, just increasing the awareness of the need to get these plastics out off beaches into recycling that they can be reused in other products. Unfortunately, it's a bit rainy today, but it's amazing the amount of people that have turned out, foreigners, Taiwanese. That's one thing I want to say is, uh, hey guys, like we really need more people to come and join us. Like this is a, a real big problem in Taiwan and globally. Yeah. And uh, you know, if you're in the area and can come and join us, that would be really awesome. How much plastic goes into the oceans? Right, and right, yeah. Okay, that so kind of thing. I think it's uh, 8 million tons of plastic a year globally, through mostly through rivers entering the, the oceans. So, and like, is this the answer? Is this, like, how we can fix it? By picking it up? or what's Yeah, I mean, it's part of the answer. I don't think it's the whole answer. Obviously, we do need to clean it up, but tackling it at the source, that's like starting with the manufacturers, right? The people yeah. that make the products that end up in the oceans. You know, single-use plastics. Yeah. We, we don't use any plastic in our packaging at all. It's okay. all recyc recycled paper. It's all made in Taiwan, right? That's right, MIT. Yeah, MIT, <laughs> made in Taiwan. Uh, in fact, a little bit later, I've asked Justin if I can go and see the the final production, the assembly of the, of the flip-flops, and I'm going to, uh, do you think I'll be able to put a pair together myself? Oh, I reckon you might be able to, yeah. I'll give you a shot. This is a typical example of foreigners coming into Taiwan, uh, making a start of their own business, and uh, entrepreneurship, and doing something great for the country too. So as Justin says, if you want to get involved, where can they check it out? Is there a Facebook group? We've got a Facebook group. Uh, I think it's uh, subs at Steps for the Ocean. I think Justin will post details of up and coming uh, beach cleans. Yeah. So yeah, that's another way you can get involved and really help out and come and meet two nice guys. Have a chat. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, time for me to do some work. Okay, okay, cool. So I've been joined by another member of the team. Uh, this is Storm, right? Yes, Storm. Me and Storm have been busy, part of the team, cleaning up the beach, collecting plastic. Yeah. Uh, so tell me a little bit about how you know about this event. Are you? So I, I went to a beach cleanup in Don, okay. uh, which is just outside Taichung. I met subs there, okay. um, and I actually live in Lugang. Okay. So I came to the beach one day just to. Have a look and see and it's a really beautiful view but it's also covered in trash yeah it's, it's a shame yeah. right there's such beautiful ocean scenery very traditional boats that obviously the taiwanese fishermen will use but yeah a lot of trash around and as yeah. justin just yeah. said something like eight million tons goes into the ocean every year or something That's, crazy like that that is crazy yeah. yeah so tell me a bit about the people that come here what kind of people do you expect to see here 
today particularly it's a lot of the people that I work with okay so I'm an English teacher right okay um, and a lot of my colleagues have come today okay um, from all over so not just in Lugang itself but also in Taichung and Zhanghua and how's yeah. the feeling here what do you think is the feeling like the feeling I, I think it's good I think it's it's really good to give back and to collect the trash from our ocean and yeah. seeing it being cleaned up and yeah. yeah that's right actually not yeah. until you see the trash itself like of course we all read about it in the newspaper see the things yeah. on Facebook but actually coming down here and seeing the amount of trash and old fishing nets that needs to be removed yeah. it actually puts it into perspective when you're digging there's just more and more plastic yeah and it you, feels there, so good too. there's actually a lot more beneath the surface you there believe. is absolutely yeah. absolutely and it feels good to take that and put it and it's going somewhere it's, yeah that's, it's that's not into the ocean it's amazing far away. so what about subs themselves do you have a pair of subs I don't. I don't. I don't. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try and get. I'll see if Justin can get another pair out That'd for us. Though. Yeah, the Thank product you. themselves are amazing. I just wanted yeah. to to mention that it's uh, as with a lot of products that are made in Taiwan. Yeah. There's a real quality to it, and to have a good product that's well made and comes from such a, an amazing place is uh, is really nice to be a part of. Well, yeah, I don't want to keep you too long. I think I've got to get back to work now too. Storm's going to get back to work. We've got another hour or two of collecting. So yeah, thanks for talking to us. <laughs> 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 Okay, so we've wrapped up at the beach now. That's two hours hard work and we collected 450 kilos of recyclable plastic and trash to take off this beautiful beach. And that is in addition to the 148,000 kilos that subs have already removed from beaches all around the world. Absolutely amazing work that they're doing here, here in Taiwan and around the world. Now we're just waiting for the local council to come with their garbage trucks, take away all of the recyclables and get rid of the trash. And once that's done, me and Justin are heading back to the factory to see if I can put together my own pair of subs. <laughs> Okay, right, so here we are, uh, back at, what's this place, what do you say it's? Yeah, we call this the Subs Factory. Subs assembly Factory. Assembly Factory, if you like. Yeah, this is the Assembly Factory. As I said, all of that plastic that we just collected on the beach, uh, where's it been? What's the process it's been through? Got to go first to, uh, to the pool of recycling yeah. in Taiwan, and it gets sorted, cleaned, and then it's uh, processed into pallets. Okay. And then once it's processed into pallets, it's molded into these separate items, soles and straps. It's amazing to think that the plastic that we collected goes through the same process of recycling that then creates an actual usable product Absolutely. such as this. Right, so what I actually want to say is the reason that I've come back to the assembly plant is of course talk to Justin, but I'm here, Justin's told me I can actually make my own pair of subs. I can be the final link in the chain, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> all right, so. I think he's pretty nervous about letting me, uh, <laughs> letting me loose on this machine. Uh, uh, so what we do, first of all, is we take the sole, yeah. like so, put it on here. So you push it right down. Make sure that's nice and wide open. Put your strap in there. Make sure your finger is nowhere near that. Yeah. And you just touch this down here. Just wow. lightly, go straight through. That part's done. Yeah. And there you have it. That is One a sub. Page. Here, do you want to try? Uh, yeah, so that's the right foot. Yeah, that's the right. You can do a left if you want. These are all the lefts here. Yeah, how about that? How about... Okay, I've got a, a request for Justin. Uh, how about the, this pair that we make? Yeah. Uh, we give it away. All right, yeah. How about that? My awesome team, VVVIP. If you want to win this pair of subs that me and Justin are in the process of making right now, uh, we need a question. Talk about marine debris, how much marine debris subs our company has removed globally from, from beaches. beaches around the world. Okay, yes. So if you've watched the video right through, you should already know that answer. How many kilos of marine debris have subs uh, reclaimed or collected from beaches worldwide? Put the answer in the comment section below and I'll choose one lucky winner to win this pair of subs. But before we give it away, I've got to make it. So can I get, right, it, yeah, can I get sure. in the driver's seat? 
Yeah, no, other way. Yep, that's other it. Way. Yep, yep, straight on. And okay. Get your left strap here. Left strap. You know, because see that says Al. Al for left, R for right. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is. I'm so nervous. Make sure the fingers are clear. Put your foot on the pedal. Here goes. Life in Taiwan, made in Taiwan, a perfect coming together. Whoa! Well done, bro. <laughs> I will give him a job. <laughs> uh, looks like I've got myself a new job. But yes, that's amazing. I feel uh, that this little mini series of made in Taiwan that I started uh, a few months ago, and now I'm actually part of the process of an amazing product that is actually made here in Taiwan, I feel privileged. I just want to say, like, refer back to that point about foreigners here in Taiwan sometimes get a little bit of a bad reputation, uh, banana skins out of windows, uh, <laughs> amongst other things, of course. <laughs> but there are some really amazing foreigners here taking part in the industry and the product manufacture and putting Taiwan on the map around the world creating amazing products and I wish Justin all of the success in the world. I'm sure Subs is going to be an absolutely huge company. Thanks man. If you want to get yourself a pair of Subs, uh, of course, enter the giveaway, answer that question and there's a link in the description. I'm going to put the website right there. How amazing is that? I can do that. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's it. We've had such an amazing day. I've genuinely enjoyed uh, cleaning up Taiwan, helping a friend make a success of himself. Uh, what's your message to the people of Taiwan? All right, my message is, okay, choose your products that you consume carefully, you know. Uh, if you can, buy recycled material products, like do it, because you know, this, this world is getting out of hand. There's plastic everywhere, all over beaches. We've got to be responsible consumers and we're, that's what we're trying to do, be uh, responsible manufacturers, making a, a you know, eco-friendly, recyclable, from recycled materials product. Yes, I completely agree with Justin's message. So definitely go check out subs, get yourself some, and why not buy some for a friend? Right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's it from me. I've had a really fantastic day. Uh, I think we're gonna go and have a beer now, right? Yeah. Let's yeah. Go. Saturday afternoon, gonna have a beer. Uh, so I'll see you next time in my life in Taiwan. Peace. Bye bye.